guys, welcome back to another Clean With Me video. I hope you guys are ready with your to-do list and ready to start cleaning. If you're just hanging out or you're getting some motivation for later, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Just say hi, let me know how you're doing. I am also going to be sharing a recipe in this video with you guys, so I'm super excited about that. I like to show recipes in some of my cleaning videos and just pop those in there just to give you guys a little bit of extra content and just kind of share what we're eating today for dinner. I'm gonna be sharing the best beef stuffed bell pepper recipe that you're going to try. They are amazing. So make sure you guys watch all the way through so you don't miss this recipe because you will thank me later. If you do make the recipe, go ahead and let me know on Instagram. Tag me in your photos, your stories, anything. I love that kind of stuff. I love to check out what you guys are doing, share what you're doing, all that fun stuff. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So I do get asked a lot about this quilt style comforter and I do have my like to know it page down in the description box where I link all of the things in my home. I try and link as much things as I can find. So that blanket is linked in there along with my bedroom furniture. Those are common questions that I get. So I do always have that stuff down in my description box. Here I'm just going to go ahead and use my Thieves Cleaner. It is just a plant-based cleaner that does the job and I really love the smell. So I'm using it just on my nightstands here, just kind of dusting them, getting any sticky fingers, anything that could be there. I'm kind of just cleaning everything up. I'm also gonna go ahead and just use that same microfiber towel, spray a little thieves and clean the top of my headboard because there's a lot of dust buildup there. And I like to use the microfiber towel because it just kind of catches it and collects it all. I know some of you are new, so I wanted to welcome you guys and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and joining our family here on YouTube. I would love it if you would comment down below, introduce yourselves, say where you're from, all that fun stuff so I can come and say hi. Right now we're gonna go ahead and do one of my least favorite chores. I know we talked about this a couple videos back, but I'm just not a huge fan of folding laundry and um, that's what I'm doing here. I needed to get this basket folded. It's actually was sitting there for a couple of days. That's just real life. I hadn't got to it until now and finally I'm getting it done. I do have an older son who is 17 years old and he washes his own laundry. So these clothes are just mine, my husband's and my youngest. So socks are my nemesis. I am also not a huge fan of putting together socks because I usually lose some in the process of washing clothes. 
Um, I do have a little bin where I keep lost socks and every time I do a load, I'll take that bin out and then I will go through my socks and match whatever was missing. So that's what I'm doing here. So the nice thing about Thieves Cleaner is you can use it as like an all-purpose cleaner. So I also use it when I clean my mirror sometimes and it does a decent job. So that's what I'm doing here. Habits make us both come crashing to the floor. So if you're new to my channel or you just missed the video, I did recently shampoo my bedroom carpets and most of upstairs. So today I am going to go ahead and shampoo my daughter's carpets. So all we're gonna go ahead and start doing is cleaning up her room, getting everything picked up off the floor. Um, I'm not gonna worry about cleaning too much right now. It's just mostly getting everything up off the floor and put away so I can shampoo her carpets. Something to save us, close but with strangers, feel like we're far apart. So I did want to go ahead and start by removing all of the bigger items from her bedroom, like her table and her uh, food truck and all of that stuff. If you're new to my channel, my daughter loves to live in princess dresses. She changes her outfit several times a day and she's wearing a dress at least once a day, like a princess dress at least once a day. So she loves getting into the different Disney characters. It's, it's super fun. I let her express herself the way she wants and she's happy. We're happy. It's, it's fun for her. I do get asked about my vacuum cleaner. It's the Dyson VA Animal. I will have that also linked down below too if you wanted to check it out. As the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever after. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. Real quickly, I wanted to show you the donation that I had made to the George Floyd Memorial Fund. And all together, you guys, we made $65 with my video last week, with you guys watching through the ads, coming over and making sure that you watch this video. And I'm just so, so grateful for you guys contributing. It really means a lot, you guys. And it just feels really good that we came together as a community to donate to this memorial fund. So I do want to thank you. I tried to show you guys kind of the process of me donating. I did match it. And I wanted to show you the process without showing too much of like my personal information or anything like that. So together we donated $130, you guys. So thank you again for your help. So I do have the Bissell Pro Heat 2 times Revolutionary Pet Pro. 
and I do love it a lot. It is super satisfying to shampoo your own carpets, I realized, and I will have it linked down below if you wanted to check it out if you were in store for a carpet cleaner. This one's super easy to use. It was super easy to assemble, and I just love the fact that I don't have to schedule anything with like carpet cleaners. I don't have to rent anything. I have this. Um, where I can just pull it out and clean a stain or clean the carpets when I choose to. I do want to let you guys know that last week was such a hard week. I know it was hard for everybody. And I feel like if you are having like a hard time with like anxiety, um, stress, feeling overwhelmed, uh, one of the things that has worked for me the past like four or five days is just taking a break from social media. But where I was at before that, I was just guilty of consuming way too much social media on it, way too much. And I knew for my mental health, I needed to take a step back. And it's not just social media you guys if you feel like you need to separate yourself and just give yourself some space from you know anybody anything in your life like just do that you know just for some self-care and just kind of stepping back and and taking some time for you like you shouldn't feel guilty about it you're not doing anything wrong um, sometimes we just need that for ourselves you know you want to be that best person that you can be and that starts with taking care of yourself you guys so don't feel guilty if you need to take a break. I know it's helped me so much lately. So I did go ahead and vacuum the stairs and didn't shampoo the carpets in this video because I needed to get downstairs, do some cleaning, and start cooking dinner. So I will make sure in my next cleaning video that I shampoo those stairs for you because I know a few of you guys were anxious to see that. So I will make sure to demonstrate um, that in my next video. So now we're downstairs in my kitchen. I do want to thank you guys for all the love that you guys have showed me since doing my kitchen makeover. I am super happy about it. I feel super blessed that we were able to do this. It's something I've wanted for years and um, we finally did it. So I am really happy about it and you guys are just super sweet. Um, all of your sweet comments and the fact that a lot of you guys have recently painted your kitchen white was super cool so I'm glad you were able to do that too you know it's always nice to make those upgrades to your house or buy new uh, buy new home decor for your apartment like anything that you can do to just create your space and make it more of a home is always rejuvenating it's always an amazing feeling no matter where you live it doesn't matter like you can make it yours and uh, I'm glad we we're finally able to make this change So today I do have my little helper with me and she loves to cook with me. Um, we're gonna make sure we have some bell peppers, some G cheese, some Worcester sauce, pepper, salt, uh, chili powder. You need some ground beef, of course. You're gonna need some onion and rice. This is a super easy meal to make, so if you're not much of a cook, you're gonna thank me later. There is nothing to find. So the first thing that you always want to do is start off by washing your produce. So Ava's washing the produce for us right here. And you can't put up a fight in the mist. So the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and just cut the top off of your bell pepper and clean it out. Mm -hmm. 
right now what I'm doing is cutting up some onion and I'm doing that while I start boiling my water because I will be throwing my bell peppers into boiling water for five minutes. So then while that's boiling for five minutes and I have the rice going up above there, if you can see, I'm going to start going ahead and cooking my beef. So I was throwing in the onion. At this point, our bell peppers were done, so I wanted to make sure I took those out. And then I also went ahead and added the Himalayan pink salt. You can use any salt and just go ahead and put it in the bell peppers. You also want to go ahead and drain your meat. Try to live another day. Like the mothers of Worcestershire. This is where you're going to go ahead and add your Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I said that right, but I've been using it my whole life. <laughs> um, your chili powder and your salt and pepper. You're beautiful sight. I went ahead and added some more. I like to kind of check my food, taste it, play around with it, and if I need to add more seasoning, I will. So just do everything to taste. So once you have that all mixed up, you're gonna go ahead and just start adding your cheese. So I just went ahead and generously added cheese. And then you're also going to add in your rice. And this is only half a cup of rice. That's all you need. You're just kind of mixing it in there. So once you're done with your mixture, you're gonna go ahead and just add it to the bell peppers. You're gonna preheat your oven. So you're gonna go ahead and just cook your bell peppers for 25 minutes. Once they're done, you're gonna add your cheese on the top and you're gonna go ahead and put it back in the oven for five more minutes. And voila, you guys, there you have it. Please try this recipe. It tastes amazing. It is the best stuffed bell peppers I've had. And here's the comment of the day, you guys. I love and appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I wanna know what's inside that heart of